This is Jeremy Kellett, Director of Recruiting here at Oakley Trucking, and I'm your host for this podcast. This is the Oakley Podcast, Trucking, Business, and Family, and this is episode 120 that we're doing today. And on today's episode, I've um, I've got uh, Mr. Randolph Rochelle, the orientation coordinator, in here with me. We're going to talk about some details of what's going on with orientation. One, what to expect in orientation. Uh, two, how do you get the most benefit from orientation to be a successful owner operator? Uh, and three, we're going to have a good time while you're here. That's, that's <laughs> part of it. And oh, I also yeah. got uh, Dustin Eagles joining me today to help us because, you know, to kind of give a little insight of what, when it comes to preparing for orientation, that means a whole lot of how your experience goes in orientation. So we're going to touch on those things here in just a minute. But first, let's do an Oakley update sponsored by Aero Truck Sales. Let's listen to one of Oakley's owner-operator experience with Aero Truck Sales. Called Kenworth off of 440. Called Peterbilt. Called Freightliner. None of them wanted to work with me. So uh, Jeremy Kellett uh, got me in, got me over to Trey. Trey Visor. Me and him had a conversation. He sent me to. Uh, Keith Wilson, and never looked back from that point. I was upside down 29,000 and change. They paid off all but $5,000 of my loan on a blown truck. That right there said a lot to me. You know, they were willing to step outside of their comfort zone to get my deal done. I never felt like a customer. It was more like a family feeling. Um, he took care of every every aspect of the deal. He was completely transparent. There was no hidden, no hidden nothing. So if you're in the market for a used truck, you owe it to yourself to call Keith Wilson at Arrow Truck Sales in Springfield, Missouri. Tell him you heard it on the Oakley Podcast. So on today's update. Uh, two quick things. One is we're doing a, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, two or three months ago, we did a deal down at JJ's Truck Stop where um, uh, we went down there and bought breakfast for everybody. I think we did it two days in a row. We did. Everybody that comes through the door and wants to talk to Oakley, we bought them breakfast. We're going to be doing that again. Uh, matter of fact, probably when this episode comes out, uh, we may be doing it today or tomorrow. It's the 27th and the 28th of July. Uh, we're going to be down at JJ's and spending some time down there and talking to truck drivers. Um, it just It's a, something where we want to get in front of them and a face-to-face conversation with truck drivers and talk to them about Oakley Trucking, introduce them to Oakley Trucking if they've never heard of it, tell them, uh, what, you know, anything that they have questions about. So, and, and you know, uh, James down at JJ's Truck Stop at Malvern, it's uh, what exit? Do you know what exit? 106? I believe it's 106 yeah, off it of 106. I-30. 106. He's just great at letting us do this. I can't thank him enough for letting us come down there and, and spend time with the drivers. And Not every truck stop will let you do that. So a big shout-out to, to Mr. James that owns a place down there at JJ's letting us do that. The other thing on the Oakley update I get some questions about is swapping divisions. Um, you know, that's something that maybe a lot of you don't realize that's, that's an option here at Oakley Trucking is you can swap divisions if something is – you know, challenging to you, you don't feel right in it, uh, you want to do something different, man, swapping division is definitely a, an option here at Oakley. Plus, you you know, you change, you get to change jobs but never leave the company. You keep everything, keep your tenure, you keep, I mean, everything just keeps rolling right along. And we've had several lately go from, well, actually from hopper and dumps to pneumatic tanks. So, you know, if you're thinking about the option of swapping divisions, hey, ask your dispatcher, call us in the recruiting department. We'll be glad to talk to you. If you're if you're in one division and want to know about another division, call the dispatcher in that other division. If you don't know who it is, call us over in recruiting. We'll tell you, you know, because they can – they'll tell you right up front. I mean, you know, where you live, what, you, what kind of work to be expected and all that. So something that can happen, uh, we can help accommodate that here at uh, – at Oakley swapping division. So 
Enough said about that. Let's get started on this orientation talk and what's going on at Oakley Trucking. When you when you sign up to come over and you get through talking to a recruiter and it's time to come to orientation, you need to know some details. Oh, yeah. And that's what we're here to talk to the legend, Mr. Randolph Rochelle. I'm sure everybody's heard about <laughs> at Oakley Trucking because if you come through orientation, more than likely you come through – Randolph's uh, tenure, what would you say, come through Randolph's um, hand of approval coming through orientation, and we all know Randolph. So Randolph's been with us 30 years, been here a long time. He's done a, actually done an episode with me before a long oh, time yeah. ago, didn't we, Randolph? Oh, yeah. And uh, we talked a little bit about, I think, Randolph's story. Yeah, I think we more on me that time. Yeah, so if they want to know more about Randolph, you go back to some of the early episodes. We got a little history with Randolph, but – at this time, I want to uh, I want to talk about orientation with him and Dustin Eagle. Dustin's been he's a co-worker too there in the recruiting department, and he uh, he's got a lot of experience in dispatch and recruiting and what's going oh, yeah. on there here every day. So uh, all good. Um, you know some of the things that Randolph first. You know orientation. I'm coming to orientation Monday morning. I've been talking to a recruiter and. He tells me to be at, be at the company yard at what time in the morning on Monday morning? Well, and where am I staying? That kind of deal. What what does a driver need to expect on Monday morning? Well, the greatest thing about Oakland, a driver should expect spending the night in the hotel, and that's really wonderful because we put you in the hotels, and we don't really want you to drive down here overnight. And that morning, when you get to orientation, you're going to be all drowsy, sleepy. Good point. So Oakley puts you in a motel, which I think is real great, where you can get a good night's sleep. And that Monday morning when you wake up, we got good directions where to bring you right to the front door of Oakley or the front door of our shop. Me, myself, personally, would come down and meet you at the shop. And from that point on, we'll introduce you to some of the, the shop guys, the supervisor of the shop. And we will get you uh, pretty much a uh, wait in. We'd like for everybody to come in and weigh their trucks. Then we're going to do a DOT inspection. Mm -hmm. After the DOT inspection, we're going to pretty much kind of just sit around and talk and get to know each other. So that's pretty much what we expect when you first get here. Now, after that, we got other things that we would like for you to do. And we'll get more into detail on that as we go through this uh, discussion. but So what about, Dustin, on what to – you know, when they come in on Monday morning, what do you tell them on Friday that they need to be paying attention to? Well, Friday, you know, I like to – we all like to, you know, just, you know, cross all T's and dot all of our I's on Friday and make sure Monday goes as smooth as possible. You know, remind them to bring paperwork, truck paperwork, make sure they bring their, you know – driver's license, social right. security cards. That's very, you know, make sure they have all that. And then we go over the hotel with them, you know, make sure they have the address, where to go, make sure they know the rooms in their name. And, uh, you know, and then we tell them, like what Randolph just said, you know, when you come into Oakley, let's meet out the shop, make sure we're all, we're all on the same page there. So one ain't here, one ain't there. We want them all, you know, in the same area. Exactly. And, uh, what I tell them, too, is, you know, most of the guys that are coming are nervous, you know. Uh, understandable. Understandable. They're switching jobs. They bought a truck. You know, big thing, I we all tell them, you know, it's, this is Oakley's. It's going to be okay, you know. We're we're a bunch of just guys just like you. So, you know, it's, you don't need to be nervous. We're, no, we're here to take care of you, you know. Just make sure, you know, try to ease their minds a little bit. Well, we're always fighting the past – orientation experiences they've had mm -hmm. oh yeah and past companies that they've oh, yeah. worked for so we got to fight some of that a little bit so it's a little bit different when you get here on on things because i feel like we separate ourselves uh our orientation from other companies don't you randolph how do oh, you yeah. how do you think we do that as a company how are we different uh, to me uh, i try to make a difference uh, i just want the guy to feel comfortable once they get to our orientation we try to make it fun the biggest thing we bring you in here and that'll just bring you to here and start showing you a bunch of videos and uh, other things. We kind of talk to you and 
uh, let you introduce yourself to one another, just let you feel comfortable right off. And then after that, you know, we got things that we want to just share with you uh, that we just express to each other. We talk about all different type things. You know, once you get to inner orientation, we're going to expect for you to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork. But even with, within filling out the paperwork, we want you to be comfortable. So the biggest thing in getting the person comfortable when they come to orientation is just let him tell a little bit about himself. So we give you that opportunity to come in, sit down, talk to us open-handed. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me your hobbies. I tell you what I like and enjoy. Two things we don't talk about in the orientation that I tell everybody. Yeah. We don't want to come in here and start talking about politics, start talking about COVID, because that's kind of, that's a very <laughs> negative, <t> negative <laughs> touchy subject. But when you come into our orientation, you can come in here and enjoy yourself. We want you to start off by feeling real comfortable because everybody come to orientation is going to be nervous, Jeremy. Yeah. I guarantee you. And we try to make a difference by just letting you express yourself to one another. So how long is this orientation? Orientation here, we use to try to at least, it's four days. To make a, give you a quick answer, it's four days. We use to spend three days in the inside. That fourth day, I want to have you on the outside hooking up to your trailer. So uh, three days in the inside, fourth day on the outside. Hopefully we can get you a load on that fourth day. If not, normally we have them out of here on the fifth day. Dustin, what are some of the biggest obstacles to overcome during orientation or prior to orientation? Uh, you know, I think the first big one these days is health. You know, we, we do yeah. a DOT physical on Mondays. And, uh, you know, we we – have to go over that with with a you know a guy or the girl that's coming to just because there's so many things that that goes into that these days releases medications we got to know all that so that goes back to making it smooth or you know on monday for the orientation if if you don't go over that and they get here then they get thrown a curveball we all and then we're all running around trying to figure out what to do uh, yeah, because we had one this week we did. that uh, had to have a doctor's release. Uh -huh. And I know you had worked hard on it. It started last week working on it because you knew what to expect, and it was uh -huh. tough getting the, getting the two doctors to communicate. Yeah, and it's kind of out of our hands, but we try to get that done before, before you get here. Because it's distracting. It's distracting. You know, we don't like to start on the truck, you know, if, it, if, if it's taking a piece of equipment. You know, and then it gets it gets it gets all of us behind, and you know that's a big obstacle. And another one is, you know, when you get here, we're going to do a DOT inspection, like Randolph said, and you know your truck's going to have to pass a DOT inspection. G give me some uh, examples. Uh, oh, we've had oil leaks, you know, wheel seals, brakes. Uh, that's some of the main ones, Randolph. So what do we do, Randolph? If somebody comes in, we pull them in the shop Monday. And the shop tells us and tells them, hey, you've got a oil leak, you got some thin brakes, you need a tire, so whatever. What what do you do with them then? Right then, we just we talk to them about it. We tell them that we got places here, local, that can fix their trucks. And right then, we try to find out the best option for them. What do you want to do to get this fixed? Because as Dustin speak, spoke. I mean, oil leaks is one of the biggest problems we have when we do a DOT inspection. Really, I'm going to be honest, I like for a guy to kind of look over his truck and make sure it would pass a DOT inspection before it get here. So once we do get it here, we won't have that problem. But I know they try to, but when they get here, we find that leak. And to answer your question, we just try to figure out a way where we can get his truck in the shop as he finishes his orientation you know, uh, class, because we want him to be ready on that fourth day, as I stated. So I try to figure out the way to get him to one of the most reasonable local shops that are going to be able to get his truck fixed by Thursday when we get ready to hook up. Well, and I think that that goes a little bit, um, you know, underrated with you because I think a guy comes in with, he wants his truck fixed at a certain place, certain place. And I know we've talked a time or two, if they'll just trust you. Hey, Amen. You know, <laughs> I, we can we can get them done and because 
we're working for them. We're working for the guys in orientation. Our plan is they're out of here by yes. by the end of the week, and they're on the road making money. And sometimes, you know, if they'll just trust you to help them manage, get through that, uh, it usually works out. Exactly. Is that what you tell them first thing in orientation? Oh, yeah, just to <laughs> listen to me, guys. Stay focused. Listen to me because I'm going to be with you all week. I'm here to make things easy as possible for you. I start off with you on Monday, and I'm, I'm going to be with you until you leave on Thursday, Friday. It's my job to make sure you leave here comfortable, knowing that you're able to operate whatever type of equipment you're here to pull. Make sure your truck is ready to operate. That is my job. That is my goal every week, guys, to get you, make sure you are comfortable, that your tractor, that your trailer, and you are ready to pull whatever trailer you've been assigned to. If I don't do that, I'm in trouble. Uh-huh. I what, lose myself because I want you to be successful, guys. What what's uh, what's some of the examples? I mean, of some of the problems we have. We talk we talk uh, this morning when I got in. We were talking about. Uh, you know some of the problems we had this week of, mm-hmm. but we we end up by the end of the week we get them figured out and we get them solved and and you said one of the guys asked you well how are you so calm about this because we've got this problem you know and yeah it's it's, just, it's it's something you know it's something every week and we <laughs> more than likely we've had this problem in the past and, I'm telling you and we know how to <laughs> deal with it <laughs> just to, yeah trust us and we'll, and we'll help you figure it out and I think yeah. that's a that's a difference you know I asked earlier what the difference is with a lot of companies and ours in orientation is we ha- I mean we're going to bat for you we're That's going right. to, we got your back we're, we're here to help you get through this the best way possible because we feel partly responsible uh-huh. a lot of times and we want to make sure we we make it right to before you so you're prepared when you get out of here and get out of orientation so exactly Jeremy and you like you just said we batting with you because a lots of guys come to orientation already think you against them but we want you to be successful here at Oakland. We're not having you in an orientation pulling against you. And a lot of guys think you're pulling against them right off in the orientation. I'm pulling with you 100%. Yep. I want to see you successful. And if you just stay focused in orientation, man, it's the best orientation you can ever. You know, I get a through. lot of people. Yes. You know, you typically have me come in there the last day okay. and talk to them. And I – they all say you know, how good orientation was. I yeah. learned something. I learned something in safety. I learned something. It's great working with Randolph. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, most places it's like, gosh, get me out of here. I'm tired of this, you know, orientation. But all of them, I mean, we've kidded around before. Some of them we can't get gone. Hey, man. We, uh, <laughs> they won't, they won't uh, stick around. A, oh, a day man. <laughs> Monday they ready to go. Thursday they want to stay. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, that, isn't it? That says yeah. something about you, Randolph, right there. Oh, man, thank you, Jeremy. I try, as you know. Give me a, a day-by-day quick, you don't have to get in details, but what to expect, uh, you know, some of the important things. I know Monday – we're doing uh, uh, truck work order first thing. Then they're coming over drug testing, getting ready for a physical. Correct. Very important. Scanning in paperwork, filling yeah. out paperwork. Monday morning's pretty busy in orientation. Yeah. Uh, it's probably one of the busier days that you'll have. Yeah. Don't you think, Randolph? Oh, yeah. And after paperwork, we take them over. Mm-hmm. Well, you have a drug test, too. Let's not forget about the drug test. Yes. We have to do, give you a drug test on Monday. After the drug test and finish up all, gathering all your paperwork. We take you over to do a DOT physical. Uh, DOT physical is done. Hey, we're going to take you to lunch. Uh, we always take you to a great place for lunch. It's real good. Everybody brag on it. I'm going to go ahead and appetize them for them. We have the best hamburgers in the state of Arkansas. David Burgers, we take you there. After lunch, we bring you back and bring you back in the orientation to start the handbook. We finish that. I have about three hours of the handbook that I do, mm-hmm. and after that we pretty much done for that Monday. Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday, pretty much safety. We bring safety in pretty much most of all of Tuesday. One, the uh, great safety director, great safety guy to come, get a chance to come in and speak to you guys. Uh, Wednesday, we pretty much do uh, our e-logs, permits, sign leases, uh, go over uh, things for us, tires, some of the uh, 
discounts that we have, uh, some of the things that are going to benefit you out there on the highway. I bring some different instructors to talk about tires, shops. Uh, Thursday is the hookup day. Thursday morning early, we use a hook you up. So they Dem- need to be prepared to be hot or cold and be outside, right? <laughs> on Thursday. On, on Thursday's Thursday. work day. Oh, yeah. it's work day. It's, it's the day we use to go out and demo. And I think that was that makes us different too. I don't think, you know, we get out there with you. Hand, we get hands out on. there, hands on. Randolph gets dirty, sweaty. We've all done it. Yeah. But we get out there and show you, you know, how it's supposed to be done. And Randolph does a great job of that explaining it. Okay, which brings – that's a good point. So that brings me to Randolph showing me how to do it. Okay. Okay, and and less specifically either trailer, any of them, but uh, typically the end dumps. Randolph shows me how to do them out here on the yard, and then we get out and get to running with other owner-operators, and they show them different than what Randolph Show. Oh, he finna dig in a can of worms now. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open a can of worms. Yeah, yeah. come on with it, though. You know, I mean, you don't show them this just for your health out here. Right. You've done it before. You know the best way to do it. We've, ta- we've you know, talked with safety. We've went over everything on the best way, best way to dump a dump trailer. And yet we have guys that uh, get out there and want to do it a lot different than the way you do it and it creates problems yeah that we see so it goes back to the another you know what we said earlier is trusting randolph Randolph and showing you how to operate it now i know everybody's out there right now listening going well you know randolph showing us out here on a level ground ain't nothing in the way and all this kind of stuff but i mean isn't it still the the, basically the same way randolph no doubt and it is the basis the same way you know, you pick end dumps, and that's a that's the one we definitely need to stay focused on, cause that's the one you can pretty much lose an escrow real quick. And we show you the right way out here. We show you the way safety, even our safe department wants it to be done. We all of us want it to ha- wants it to be done. But yet and still, as Jeremy just spoke, you still don't trust me. I want you to trust me in orientation, cause I don't want you to lose your escrow turning over a trailer. We want you to do it exactly like we tell you. We give you a dumping procedure as well as after you finish with Randolph, we even going to send you out there with an instructor, which he need to be on the same page that I am. Because the way we tell you in orientation, we don't want you to change it up once you get out there. So please, guys, trust Randolph. Trust your trainer the one yeah. that we assign you with because how many times is it we've had bent door hinges because Common. you know dumping wrong and not the wow. way you showed them how and just different things and I, I know there's situations that call for different ways of dumping trailers i guess but boy that, that's uh that's a big deal because things can sure change in a hurry on that oh, yeah real quick yeah well Good stuff on this, man. I mean, I, I think it, uh, you know, by explaining orientation to people, not only the ones coming in, Dustin, that can get an idea of what to expect, but even, you know, our own operators that are out there now that hadn't been through it in a long time, probably did, some of them didn't even go through orientation, <laughs> but a lot of them, you know, can have some input too, Absolutely. will help us a lot because those guys out there doing it can, sure enough, We get a little complacent coming in, you know, doing it every week and stuff. And I think a lot of times our owner operators out there can give us feedback on what can help a new guy, you know, because the majority of people coming through here has never pulled a dump before or a hopper or a pneumatic. And explaining it and doing it, it's two, you know, it's two different things. But uh, like I said, we we've been saying it all thing all all show here, but. Here at Oakley, I mean, from day one, from the time we start talking to you to the time you leave orientation or and, and beyond, we, we're we here for you. I mean, we're going to – we've got your back. Oakley's going to take care of you. We've got a great reputation out there, and you hear that all the time. I, I just – I've never heard a bad thing about Oakley, and a lot of guys don't believe it, you know. I just can't believe I've never heard a bad thing about Oakley. And once they get over here, I think 
these guys understand why. Yeah. <laughs> because they've never had a company, you know, invest in them like we do. Well, you got a good reputation. You want to keep it up. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's important to us. I mean, I hear it every day on the phone. One thing, Randolph, else I was going to ask you was on the trailer situation. Uh, I think it's important to know for the for the people coming in to know how hard you work, shop works, dispatch works to get a trailer ready for a new guy. Right. Tell us about that. Well, we work. We go out here and you know try to find the best qual- the f- best trailer for you guys. And what I normally do is talk to your dispatcher about a trailer. He's give me a trailer to put in the shop. And we put it in the shop for these guys. And they're going to do a level one on your trailer before we even hook you up to it. They do, they does the same thing they do to your tractor. They does a level one in the shop and make sure everything is DOT ready. Now, after we finish the shop, the shop would park it out here. We put a kingpin lock on it so your trailer would not be touched by anyone else and then when you get ready to hook up to that trailer we will give you opportunity me and you will walk around that trailer if we find any defects anything wrong with that trailer we're going to put you back in the front line back in the shop and make sure that it's taken care of because again we want you to be ready roll ready roll ready and we want you to be successful. We don't want you leaving here, and the first thing you got to do is get your tra- trailer put back in the shop. Right. So we automatic level one, then let you get opportunity to look over it, inspect it. If you find anything wrong with that trailer, be sure to get with me, and I'll take care of it. We'll put you back in the shop. And we also run them through the wash bay. Exactly. Correct. Clean them up, make sure the inside's clean, make sure, you know, like you said, you're ready. Looking good. Looking good. And we take pride in these trailers. We want you to keep them clean. Uh, I tell every orientation class, you cannot wash it too much. I mean, if you got to wash it every other day, wash it. If your dispatcher have a problem with that, call my director, Mr. Jeremy (laughs) Kelly, and I promise we'll make sure that trailer is clean. Hey, I've never, ever had to tell somebody, tell one of our owner operators, to please stop washing your trailer. Exactly. exactly. You're just washing it too much. I've yeah. never had to do that. It's never. always the opposite. You know, mm-hmm. Can you got time to run that through the wash. <laughs> and we'll we pay it. for it. Run it through there. We won't. We get a lot of owner operators over here because of the way we keep our equipment. You know. And, and that, so that's a great point is what about what do we expect out of the truck? Same thing. I mean. I mean, they get here. We try to get pictures. Exactly. Ahead of time, try to get pictures. We talk about it with them. You know how, how how's this truck been? When'd you buy it? How many miles? What's it weigh? I mean, we go over all that before you get here. Spot and mirror, spot mirror. You know that could, that's a issue sometimes, yeah, but yeah. but that's a requirement here at Oakley. Spot, uh, I mean, main what, thing is is you know it's a good good looking truck that passes DOT inspection we see a bunch of them and we know when somebody takes care of it and when somebody doesn't you know if you got the dash full of papers oh. you can't even that's hey something something's up there you know yeah. you're really taking care of that truck so that makes us look a little harder at something but just the you know even down to the the frame not being all rusty and peeling and cracking up and the making the, sure we have aluminum wheels yeah having aluminum <laughs> wheels on the truck i mean that's something we require uh-huh. uh to look nice a paint job look nice not you know it ain't got to be brand new but we don't need paint peeling everywhere no. on it. i mean um because we've had some crazy things come to orientation and this, this is how we've learned to yeah. ask all these we've questions learned over the years <laughs> 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 of what to ask yeah. because you never know what's going to show up windshield tent tent yeah no window tent uh-huh. uh the, the uh drop visors can't be too low exactly uh, i mean it's all kinds of stuff that you know we try to head off at the pass we don't want anything to be a shocker to you uh-huh. when you get here we don't want anything to be a surprise to you when you get here we, because it's a problem for us too oh yeah exactly you know we've worked hard for you to get here and come to orientation 
uh, probably not as hard as you've worked, but uh, and not made as drastic changes uh, in our life as you have in yours to come to orientation. But man, we, we feel responsible, and we want to make sure it's uh, everything goes pretty smooth. So it, it requires a good truck, good clean, good looking truck, and we're gonna put you a good clean, good looking trailer with That's it. That's right. It, yeah, no doubt. Anything else you guys think you ought to add? This is your stage, Randolph. I don't get you up here very often. You got to <laughs> turn, turn loose. and uh, You know, I just – I love orientation, guys. So, you know, that's my pet peeve. I, I, I enjoy it because I get a chance to meet different owner operators. I've been there, done that. And I just enjoy, you know, meeting these new guys on Monday morning, sharing my experience with them, you know, and it's make it work and make my job a lot easier. I know we're going to have problems. That's when we in here today talking about it. We want you to bring your truck in here, inspect your You don't have to get it inspected because we're going to inspect it here. But make sure you look over it to make sure it can pass a DOT inspection. Because if it don't and we do find something, that could delay the whole orientation. Yeah. One person can delay the whole orientation, yep. especially, when you, especially when you're dealing with health problems. Health problems is another thing, you know, because yeah. we're waiting on this. Oh, yeah. We waiting on that. So, guys. Just and we're not going to start, and this is another thing we haven't talked about, but installing wet kits and blowers. If you're going to a dump, a lot of times we're putting a wet kit, we're putting a blower on your truck, going to pneumatics, and that takes some time for the shop to do. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not going to start on it until everything is clear. Physicals, truck. Everything. Exactly. Because we don't want to start on it and then something happen and – then yeah. we got to put it back. Yeah, and then we're yeah we're just double back. So exactly, so that's the delay there. Mm-hmm. And and you know that that makes the uh, the owner operator in orientation distracted on that. He can't think about what's going on because we're oh, you know so true. And and you know the other side of this, we're telling them so much information in orientation. It's so hard to remember everything. I mean, there's no way they can. No. But uh, but we got to you know we give them. We try to give them uh, everything that they need to start out and not worry about the little things. Just take care of what you can. So, Yeah, and that's what I think is cool about orientation, too, is being a re- as a recruiter. Some of these guys talk to for four or five years coming in here, yeah. and I feel like I'm, I, I know them better than some of my friends. <laughs> I've talked to them for so long, and it's cool finally get them in here and put a face to somebody you've been talking to for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And... And by the end of the four days, you know, you, you leave out here thinking you, you do have another friend. You know, oh, yeah. Somebody, you know, like you always say every morning, welcome to the family. Amen. Welcome to the Oakley family. And a lot of them guys like love hearing that because I watch them. And when Randolph says that, that makes them feel good. Yeah. And, and we uh, do become a family. When they leave right. on Thursday or Friday, it's touching sometimes, you know. You you, yeah. you had that, mm-hmm. oh, and they swap numbers. Oh yeah, they oh, yeah. they make friends typically. They give me yeah. big hugs. We smile. We laugh. Shake hands and hey, let's let's go make some money. That's oh, yeah. what's the good thing about it. Knowing they got it and they can go out and make. It some makes money. you feel good when you see your guys out here on the yard and they're smiling. Made friends. They love it here. Makes Amen. you feel good. Makes us feel good in here. Like you know. We did we did it right. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. Great way to end the conversation on, I think, guys. That's a good uh that's a good way to end it because you know, we we've uh we put a lot into this orientation and recruiting uh-huh. and it's uh, there's a lot to it. And it's very important that orientation goes well for people. Oh, yeah. And uh, thank goodness we got old Randolph to keep it going. He does a great job. So thank you. It, thank you, thank you. Does a wonderful job. Just gotta Keep him for another 10 years. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Think you can get that done? Okay. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to, uh, we're going to have to ease up on a day or two here yeah, and there, I yeah. think. That's yeah. it. You That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening to the Oakley Podcast. You know we appreciate it. Uh, every week is something different coming at you, and, and we thought this week would be good just to get back to our roots and talk about orientation and the process and – how we're here to help you get through it. So uh, appreciate everybody listening. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like on uh, 
on our YouTube page. Check us out. Spread the word, you know, about the Oakley podcast and what we're doing here at Oakley Trucking. And, hey, if you're thinking about leasing on, you want to know more information, give us a call up here at the office. We'll be glad to visit with you. If you got uh, specific questions about orientation that we haven't discussed, uh, feel free to call Randolph and ask him uh, anytime. He's, uh, he's usually pretty free on Tuesdays. Well, safety's in there to answer any kind of questions, and Fridays for sure. So uh, be sure and check us out and let us know if you've got any questions, any subjects you want to hear us talk about here on the Oakley Podcast. And once again, we appreciate you, and we'll talk to you next week.